I was very disillusioned as a child um, when it came to school and um, within myself. I was extremely dyslexic. So I was very frustrated and very angry. And I went to a lot of schools and acted out. Um, I was the class clown. I had quite a disruptive school life and my parents went through hell with it. <laughs> I came to St. David's, um, basically, I was sort of um, conned into it. <laughs> like I said, I, I hated schools. You know, suddenly I'm thrown into um, a school. I didn't even have a school uniform on. Mum and Dad said to me, oh, we'll just take you here and just see what you think. It's just, you're just doing an interview with them and literally dropped me off and drove off. And, and I never looked back, you know, it was, it was amazing. It was the start of finding myself. Basically, they, they find your passions and they found my passions, which was being able to express myself creatively. Um, and I never look back. Now, you know, I'm an artist and I, I'm able to give back with that. I've been lucky enough to get some major pieces, you know, I've, got, I've had a few big public sculptures. I've also been able to do the Queen's portrait, a six foot portrait of her for um, her jubilee and 60 of them went, went around the country. I've done 15 foot bronze uh, Olympians for the Olympics 2012. Basically, I just want to thank St. David's for helping me find myself and to help me become a confident human being and to love myself. <laughs>